Hey everyone, um, if you're, if you clicked on this video, you can pretty much tell what this video is going to be about. I know, it's Monday, it's not Wednesday, um, but we need to talk about suicide. I know that that subject's a little heavy-handed for some people, so I will be back on Wednesday with a fun video about Christmas and music and all that fun stuff, um, on Wednesday, so you can click away if this is not for you, but I wasn't expecting to make a video today, but I, we have to. Um, before we get started, I just want to say that the number in this video is going to be displayed the entire video. It's the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, at least it is here in the U.S. Um, I don't know if it works overseas, but it's there. You are loved. We need you here. Um, screw what other people are saying about you. For those of you who don't know, uh, Jonghyun from Shiny, which is a K-pop group, uh, passed away today. Or yesterday, something like that. Um, recently. And... It really breaks my heart because Jonghyun and Shiny in general have always been a... They made a huge impact in my career, especially with the last few years. But Jonghyun especially. His incredible vocal talent and dancing abilities and just funny guy humor um, really impacted me. And I don't think I would be on the path I am as an indie pop artist if he hadn't, if my brother hadn't introduced me to Shiny. I'm really at a loss for words that he's gone. It's kind of, kind of numb. Especially when depression is so preventable. Now, I'm not going to get into why he died or whatever, but it it's pretty much confirmed suicide. Um, and if there are any updates to that, I'll write it in the description or leave a comment under this video. But losing him is why I'm making this video. I've struggled with depression most of my life. Um, But before I talk about that, I want you to think. And I, I know you're probably some random person watching this video who doesn't even know who I am, and I'm some indie electro pop random artist that means nothing to you. But um, I want you to think about something. Because being an, a musician, especially in pop music, I see online bullying a lot. I want you to remember that when you write a hate comment to a celebrity, that's a real person. I, I always get a lot of flack for this and defending celebrities. Well, they're in the public eye. They should be tough and deal with it. Criticism happens. Criticism also adds up. There's calling someone out on their bullshit, which, by the way, I don't think Jonghyun had any to call out, so this isn't really related to that particularly, but... And then there's just getting mean. Working in the music industry, you really have to learn to have big shoulders. Because people feel that their opinion is important, and you need to know it, and they will treat you like you're kind of the worst thing in the world. They say, for me, example, they say I can't sing, I don't write real music, um, I'm a fag, uh, I, the list goes on, I've kind of tuned it out by now. But you know what? Occasionally, I can't tune it out. And you know what? A lot of other people can't either. 
for example, for me personally, I I know right now I'm in between albums, and so with newer fans, I get a lot of comments about how I don't release music, or uh, I just post bullshit that has nothing to do with my music, or why don't I post music enough, um, whatever, or I'm horrible, or the songs that I have aren't good, or... I mean, the list just goes on, or I'm crap, or I should kill myself because my music is awful. And I'm sorry, if you don't like my music, bitch, why are you here? The point is, all of that adds up. And I'm not saying online bullying led to Jonghyun's suicide and depression, but I do happen to know that fans, as they call themselves, can be a bit relentless. You need to understand that when you write a hurtful comment, you're affecting someone else's life. Before you write something mean and nasty, would you say that to someone's face? And you know what? There are probably some of you out there who would say, yeah, I would. I would say it to their face. Well, bully for you. But that doesn't stop you from being a bully. And a lot of the time, people in the limelight, whether you're a K-pop group, or a pop artist, or a actor, actress, whatever, people tend to forget that you're a real person. And so, especially nowadays, they just feel they can say whatever they want, whenever they want, and they don't suffer any repercussions from it. When you see a post on Facebook, or a video on YouTube, or an article, or whatever, and you see hundreds of thousands of comments basically all saying the same thing, how this person is a blank, this person is awful, go kill yourself, blah 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 blah. Do you really need to be that hundred thousandth and oneth person to say, go kill yourself? Because I tell you what, having been on the receiving end of a lot of hate, not just online, in person, and when you have no way to defend yourself, and people just come at you, and it, it doesn't seem to stop, when you go to add that last comment that says, go kill yourself, or you're a bitch, or your hair is too ugly, whatever. That last comment rings out. Especially in a blur of an onslaught of hatred. Do you really need to be that person that says, go kill yourself? I want you to think about that. Depression and suicide are so easily preventable. All you have to do is be a nice person. For me, growing up, my friends were not very kind to me. I was friends with all girls, and those girls actually weren't very nice, I came to realize. But like any other kid, I just want to fit in. Middle school and the last part of elementary school were ridiculously tough. And I think they are for a lot of kids, but I'm just talking about my experience. I was kind of ostracized for being different. And then when I was surrounded by friends, I was treated like garbage. My food was stolen at lunch. Um, I was lucky enough not to experience a whole lot of, um, violence. 
But that's part of the reason I don't like the phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Yeah, words can hurt. Words can hurt a lot. And you know what? Bruises heal, but words echo in your mind forever. And I'm not saying that violence is better than verbal abuse. All of it sucks and is awful. But that's why you should be a nice person. It got to a point where I've never really talked about this with anybody except a handful of people. It got to a point where people were telling me I was so awful and mean and basically I was everything that they were being to me, apparently, um, and that I was so worthless and not worthy of living that I kind of started to believe it. But I was lucky. I had a teacher in seventh grade who, not to quote the Princess Diaries, but saw me when I was invisible and pulled me out of a very, very dark place. No place that any kid or adult should ever go to. So, side note, not all teachers are bad. They, kn they know what they did for me, but I don't think even now they fully understand what they did for me. I've been on an antidepressant for the last five years, and actually, because I've found people that actually care about me and make me feel good, Starting last week, I've started to wane off of it. And I'm very excited for that. Wow, now, now I know why people cry in videos all the time. Um, the main message of this video is to think before you speak or type. Think about what you're saying. The internet, people think they can get away with things freely. And you know what? It's not okay. And I know some people watching this video will be like, you know, stop being weak. Be tough. And you know what? A lot of the times, I can brush it off. But I've had to learn how to do that. You think... Telling a kid in sixth grade to just brush it off? You think that's easy for them? It's not. Another thing I see a lot when suicide happens is people think, that, think it's selfish. And, okay, I can see your point. Maybe in some situations. But if you've never been to that deep, dark place, you have no license to run your mouth. I can't say what led Jonghyung or Chester Bennington or all of the other celebrities and just people why they would commit suicide, but depression is a silent killer. when people are bullied or hate comments are thrown their way, it adds up. And so I just want to say that if I know I'm some random dude on the internet and I'm some, I'm just a small indie nameless <laughs> pop artist that, you know, nobody's ever heard of, but if someone sees this that might be thinking of taking their own life, I want you to stop. I want you to know that you are loved, and um, that people suck. People can suck 
really badly, and pe some people are just mean. Some people have nothing better to do than be mean. But you are not what those people are saying to you. You are a good person. You are worthy of existence on Earth. You are worth it. And if you don't believe some random guy talking into a camera, then I urge you to call the number on your screen right now. Because it's anonymous and they can help you through it. Why people bully someone to kill themselves is beyond me. My heart goes out to Jonghyun, his bandmates, and XM, and his family, and his friends. But that will never bring him back. Doesn't bring anyone else back. Doesn't bring anyone back. And to, and to my own personal haters that are writing me on a daily basis or responding to my emails with nasty things, um, you know, I feel sorry for you. That A, that's what you're choosing to do with your time. B, if you don't like my music or myself, you can go. I don't have time for you anymore. And you know what? Right here and right now, I'm going to add the suicide prevention hotline into my contacts. Because I never want to go back to that place. So, 1-800, sorry, I wrote it down, 273-8255. And that way, if I ever am with someone that might need that number, it's always with me too. Be kind to one another. Think before you write something awful. If you see a thousand people raising their pitchforks and flames, don't join in. Don't be that one extra person. Don't be that person that pushes another human being to end their life. When I was at my darkest, people would tell me, oh, you know, people just do it because they're hurting themselves. They feel pain. And I can sympathize with that. But back then, I couldn't even help myself. How am I supposed to help somebody else? I got lucky by having some really great educators in my life. And eventually, I learned how to surround myself with people who are good and kind. Not everyone's that lucky. And sometimes it's just too dark to see. So if that's you, again, call the number on your screen. You can reach out to me. I will put my email in the description below, where if you feel like you're committing suicide, I want you to know that you have a friend, specifically. Hi, I'm John John. I've been there. Well, I should probably end this, but it was important to me to make this video today and just remind everybody to be nice. Depression is so preventable. It starts with being nice to one another. But kindness is so easy. And you never know who's struggling. You never know if that stranger on the street that you pass by, what they might be struggling with. So why be mean? Think about that. Rest in peace, Jung Kyung.